Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. Uh, welcome Marizan to Beyond the Boundary. Um, it's been, uh, the last 12 months have been really special. You've won the 100, uh, you've won the WBBL. Is it time that uh, Marizan Cup now lifts that uh, World Cup trophy? Well, that would be wonderful. Um, that's the ultimate goal. Um, but yeah, look, it's, it's a lot of hard work still ahead. Um, but look, if, if we get there, hopefully that will be. So yeah, what's, uh, what and how are your World Cup preparations going on? Obviously, it's, it's been a bit up and down with the news that Tanay won't be there. Um, obviously, missing out on a skill is, is massive, but I, I think the captaincy is, is for me personally, um, that's the thing I'm going to miss the most. Um, for she, she's such a good leader. But in saying that, the squad has been I mean, this is the specific World Cup is something we've been working towards for the past four or five years. Um, a lot of our senior players, we are at the peak of our game now. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's something we've been working very hard towards. It's, it will be difficult, as is any World Cup, um, but I definitely think we, we have the players to, to get the job done. And uh, let's let's come down to that 2017 World Cup. You you told that you were a lot young. The entire group was a lot young. Most most uh, a lot a lot of these players who were going to play this year uh, did not even make their debuts that time. Um, uh, but that particular loss in 2017, there is a photo of Tane Van Niekerk uh, sitting down and um, uh, Catherine Brandt consoling her. Uh, from that particular loss to this World Cup. Uh, First, take us down to that 2017 you played that particular time and now to 2022. You have to mention something like resources. I think England and Australia has always been ahead of all the other playing countries because of the resources, facilities, coaching that they that they receive. And I think now that teams like ourselves have been, I mean, how many contracts do we have now? Um, I think they just gave out some provincial contracts as well. So things like that helps the girls to, to train a lot harder, um, to be a bit more professional. And I think that's the only thing we ever lacked. Um, if we were given this 15 years ago, who knows um, where would, we would have been now. So I'm really proud of, of the girls and our team, of what we have, have achieved with, with what we have gotten. Um, but luckily now, I mean, I think our performance speaks for ourselves um, with the backing of momentum and in CSA now finally the girls can just focus on cricket um, and yeah in saying that I think that 2017 World Cup and then the leagues thereafter that followed for, for some of our players it, it just gave them a lot of confidence to, to back themselves a bit more and because now you see because when I grew up you would kind of idolise um, the Australians, the England, um, those teams but now when you play I mean that's good. Now that you get the same, the same um, resources, you see you're just as good as them. Um, if not some of our players even better. So um, yeah, really excited for this World Cup. I think, like I said, we've grown a lot um, in, individually as and as a team. Um, and hopefully our performances speaks for itself. Uh, from that 2017 loss, there is a huge loss now with uh, Danae being ruled out of that uh, World Cup. How big a loss uh, is that particular thing uh, as a player, as a captain? Yes, I'm not going to lie. For me personally, personally, it's a massive loss. Like I told you, you don't even think of a skill, you just think of a captaincy. Um, I mean, we've seen in the 100, um, I believe we won that just, just because of her captaincy and then her performances. She always leads from the front. Um, I've always said Tanay, when the Naples on the South African jersey, she's just a different player. Um, and so she will really be missed, um, I'm not going to lie. But I feel like there's enough of us seniors left um, that hopefully, if, if we, in, in tournaments like this, you, you need your seniors to perform. Um, and hopefully we, we can pick up our hands and perform and, 
and make the man and the uh, country proud. Yeah, and my next question was going to be the same that uh, with that particular loss, your responsibility as a senior player increases uh, as an on-field leader, as uh, to perform even uh, in these conditions and a lot many more. It's definitely, I'm not going to lie, puts a bit more pressure on you. Um, like I feel the pressure already and I'm not even at the World Cup. Um, but in saying that, I mean, I've been playing for long enough. I'm, I think I've been playing for 12, 13 years. So over the years, you you have learned to, to deal with different um, situations, and the, this is just one of them. Yes, it's going to be hard, but I think mentally be strong enough. And um, if everyone just backs themselves and and, and play to 80% of their ability, uh, we'll have a, a very good World Cup. Um, coming to this particular World Cup, uh, a new captain is announced. Sunil Lee is going to lead the side. Um, and at the same time, Sunil has led the side in the last two, two and a half, three years. Uh, whenever Dane has been unavailable, be it the India series or a few other series. Uh, what's your take on uh, her as a leader, a youngster, when, when there are so many senior leaders in the team already? I think um, she's done well um, in saying that. I think. Because we have so many seniors, that's, I mean, how many players do we have that's played over 100 um, ODIs for their country? I think that's the key um, to her doing so well. Uh, we have a lot of seniors, players helping, um, giving their input. And we are a, a side that's, that has settled. We've been playing together for quite a few years. Yes, here and there we, we made changes, but I think the core group has been the same. Um, so luckily that has really helped us in, in the absence of the name. Um, and hopefully, like I said, this World Cup, um, we can do the same thing. Uh, and the idea of a World Cup, made in World Cup win, uh, what does that fascinate you and how do you see that uh, particular thing in New Zealand? Well, ultimately, it's any cricketer's dream to, to win a World Cup. Um, I was so disappointed when I, I couldn't play in that semi-final in, in Australia. Um, I, I remember telling my coach, just just get me to that World Cup semi-final and final because it's especially two grounds where I usually bowl well at. Um, so I think the key for us is just to perform really well throughout the, the group stages because I know if we get to the, the semi-final and final, we'll, we'll put up a good fight. Um, like I said, the core group of players will be there. We've been playing a lot. Um, together for quite a few years, so I think that was definitely our time. Um, but in saying that, it is a world event, it will be tough and we have to perform. You have to perform, definitely. Uh, you will do that. Uh, all the best, Marizan, for the uh, West Indies series, for the World Cup. Uh, hope you do well and hope South Africa uh, lifts that particular cup uh, at the end of it uh, all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.